Okay, Romans chapter 15, verse 20. Yea, so have I strived to preach the gospel, not where Christ was named, least I should build upon another man's foundation. And I've been putting this verse off, and the Lord's been saying, do it, do it, do it. And I really don't know what to say. I have my ministry. My ministry is the farmer's market here in Daytona Beach. And I would be foolish to go somewhere where another church, another Christian has established the work of the gospel of Jesus Christ, not as a helper. Let's say there's a let's say there's a um a park. And I know that a brother in the Lord, he's got a ministry in that park or uh, recreational area somewhere. I know that another brother has a work there. He's doing the work and, and he's sold the ground. He, he, he's broken the, 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 the clods of dirt and he's, he's plowed the fields. That is the field that God has given him to work. I would be foolish, according to Paul, to go in after that and work that ground that's already been worked that is not my ground. And I, I would assume that <coughs> there are Christians out there in laziness that would go into a ground that's already been worked out. Uh, the farmer's market's only Saturdays and we leave when everybody else starts leaving, it's supposed to end at 1. But people start packing up at 11 and, and 12 o'clock. So we leave right around 11 and 12. But if somebody were come in at 12 o'clock, 12.30 to 1 o'clock to pick up where we picked off, that's wrong. Now, I have worked with other churches <clears throat> as a worker of that church. And it, there's, there's particular grounds that we work. Oh, I remember one year when we first moved down to Florida, we when I, my legs were, were better, we used to do the Christmas parades down here. It was funny because one time we're doing the Christmas parade in Port Orange and we were working from east to west. And come to find out there was a, the, the church that's in the land. They were working west to east. Now, we weren't working their field. Because they have done Christmas parades many, many years, and they weren't doing our field because it was on a whim. Let's, hey, they're having, it was just around the corner, they're having a, a parade. Let's gather a whole bunch of gospel tracks and let's pass out gospel tracks to all the people waiting for the parade. And the, ch the other church, I mean, they've done it, they, they planned to do it. They didn't know we were going to be there, and it wasn't our. The work that we all got togetherly done. But there are places of ministry that a person's gone out and worked. That is their field. Yeah, I have strived to preach the gospel, not where Christ is, was named. Already the work of the gospel in Jesus Christ is there. That's not your ground. Now, if you're going to go help, and you're going to be co-laborers, fellow laborers in the field, Paul calls it. Okay. <clears throat> but, you know, they say Christopher Columbus discovered America. No, he didn't. The Americans that were here, though they weren't called Americans, they are already. So Christopher Columbus came and violated the land. We're not to violate the land. We're to pray for God to send out laborers in the field. And the field is already taken. Now, we're not under the law. But the law does prescribe that a, a, a Jewish person under the law, he could be walking by a, a fig tree. He could be walking by a vineyard. And he was allowed to sit down and have a fig or two or a couple grapes. Enough just to, to, to nourish him. But he wasn't to take any figs or, or grapes and put it in his bag. He wasn't to make a grocery bag and go home with it. <clears throat> um, 
Um, and the cause, too, it comes to be, I have been involved since year one of the public ministry. <clears throat> we go to the Catholic Church at their event, <clears throat> at the Catholics Easter and the Catholics Christmas, and we've had public ministries, <clears throat> excuse me, my we had had public ministries on the public sidewalks of passing out gospel tracts to Catholics. And it's been quite successful. Where we lived in Connecticut, we'd done it for two years. And the third year, they gave it up because we overpowered. I mean, <clears throat> God did such a great work. Over here in Daytona Beach, we, we couldn't do it this year, but the year before, we were two years doing it, and the second year they had garbage cans already for the for the tracks. And you say, "Well, Stolly, that's that's a church. You're treading another man's foundation." No, I'm not, because it says also strive to preach the gospel where Christ was named. The gospel is not preached at a Catholic church. Christ is not preached at the Catholic Church. Another Jesus is preached at the Catholic Church. And we take the ground of, of the sidewalks, which is public for, for the public to do, according to the Supreme Court. As far as I know, we've been six years at the farmer's market, and we have driven away Jehovah Witnesses. Because they don't preach the gospel. And the gospel has not been preached there before. Because when we went there, the very first day we went there, I told my wife, Tracy, I, said, I come home late from work. I said, well, I'll get a nap. And what we'll do is we'll go check it out. We'll get some gospel tracts and we'll pass out some gospel tracts. It, it's a field. And no sooner than when Tracy got the first gospel track out that she... Gave the gospel track to the forerunner, the, the, the head, whoever in charge of the farmer's market. And we got in trouble. So that place has never been a field of the gospel track because <clears throat> up to we have come along. Anybody who has tried to pass out gospel tracks and tried to, they have, they have pulled them away, pushed them away. Now, the Hayward Family Ministry at, at the Farmer's Market is we have fought legal grounds. We have, we have had attorneys battling it out to say he can, he can't, he can. And I'm telling you right now that another man's foundation, the foundation that Jesus Christ and God the Father has given me, is the Farmer's Market. last saturday because of illness and it was just so cold i didn't want to be there for the first time ever in my life <clears throat> with a public ministry going all the way back in the early 2000s for the very first time in my life i did not want to be that public ministry i did i'm there i'm freezing i didn't want to be there <clears throat> but god i apologize for my throat god opened up doors last saturday I should have gone to the doctors, but the doctors weren't open to later. I, I should have stayed uh, and should have, should have, didn't, should have, didn't, and didn't, didn't, but I did. And for only an hour, God did a work in us. Now, it would be foolish for a, another Christian to come in and stake up the ground. Now, if you want to help us. But you abide by the rules that we have set forth. You don't come in with your own rules. And you don't come in violate. And if I were to work with another church or if I work with another Christian on their grounds, you obey what they do. You obey what they say. You obey their rules. You don't wear this. You don't wear that. You don't say this. You don't say that. Now, a common ground we got here in Daytona Beach. Again, I strive to preach the gospel where Christ was named. 
least I should build upon another man's foundation. And we're going a little bit over. I said, Lord wanted me to do this. I really, we have the Daytona 500 race and we have the Coca-Cola 400 race and we got two bike, big bike weeks here. And we will meet other Christians around the globe, around the United States of America. People will come down to, to the 500. People come down to, to the bike week and they will pass out gospel tracts. They will preach. They will get the gospel out. Now that ground is not my ground. That is ground for all of us Christians. And we work together, we meet each other, we have a time of fellowship, we have a time of prayer, we have a time of, of getting together. But it'd be foolish for me to say, well, you know, this is this is this spot right here is my spot. This ministry to 500. I couldn't handle the 500. I can't handle Bikers League. And it'd be like, Lord, we all need help. I mean, I don't know if you realize with Daytona 500 and, and the Bikes Week, you got the actual Daytona racetrack. You got a ministry inside the racetrack. You got a ministry outside the, the, the racetrack where all the vendors and all the events are going on. And then you have a ministry in the parking lot. And on the day of the 500, you've got a ministry on the sidewalks on International Boulevard all the way up and down. There are street preachers. There are people passing out gospel tracts. And it's like the Christmas parade. No one person can claim a Christmas parade route because it is a long route. And we need laborers to help. But when a man has his, his little section, his little event, whether it be daily, whether it be weekly, whether it be monthly, whatever it is, if that is his field, then let it be filled by that man. Hey, here's another event that just came to my mind. <clears throat> Bus ministries. A church has... A church bus that goes down XYZ Street. And they may pick up one kid, two kids, 10 kids, 20 kids. But they go down XYZ Street. You as another church, you as another bus ministry, you stay off XYZ Street. You don't need to be there. Now, if you got family, you got dedicated church members that have been in your church, not all right, you got people there. But as far as the ministry with bus ministry and neighborhoods, there are particular areas of a church. And I have heard <clears throat> that there have been Christians going out. They leave a church. And down the street, a couple blocks away, they start a, 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 a church. When there's two or three churches there. Already. Good work of the Lord, but you, you know, you're going to. And you don't want to uh, break up a church. You don't want to cause problems in the church for you to start a church. Now, I want the Lord, or I ask the Lord to begin a work here in South Daytona or Daytona Beach. He say, well, Stolly, there's, there's hundreds of churches here. So I have strived to preach the gospel, not where Christ was named. At least I should build on another man's foundation. There are hundreds of churches here. There are tons of denominations. But they're not preaching the gospel. They're not preaching Jesus Christ. They're preaching their denomination standards. <coughs> there are churches that don't have the King James Bible. They don't have the authority. They don't have the church. So when somebody goes into an area and the, the gospel of Jesus Christ is not preached already, 
Or you go into an area and there is no King James Bible. They got any other Bible under the sun. So if you're looking for an area in a field, you got to look for an area where the gospel is not preached. And I will go as far as the authority of the King James Bible is not the authority. Begin a work there. I have been in Daytona Beach since 2011. Not one Baptist church with the blood atonement of Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to scriptures, that the King James Bible is the opposite, it is, is the very word of God. Without laws, without works, only by Jesus Christ are you saved. Has no one ever come to my door and knocked? And brought to me the gospel. Not once. In nine years. Well, ten years. Excuse me. Ten years. I've had the Jehovah Witnesses come. We've been here and we've had ministries in Port Orange. We had ministries in Daytona Beach. We had ministries over. Not one ministry have we found of the churches in Daytona Beach where they're out there on the street. Preaching and teaching and passing out gospel tracts of the gospel. <clears throat> so, I personally, like I said, I don't know why the Lord wanted me to do this verse. I personally have not treaded the ground of a gospel preaching ministry where Jesus Christ is preached. And, but, Listening to messages last week, and I learned things by listening to messages, and and it, it it comes to me that there are people, there are Christians that will come in and separate the flock so they can have their gathering, they can get their group of people, they can do it better. I'm not like that. I have been accused of trying to split a church. I had not wanted to start a church. It was in my, the plans of my wife and I, Lisa, we were, I was, I was going to school <clears throat> and Lisa and I were talking and we, where we lived in Norwich, there was no, there was no churches. And we, we, we talked about together Maybe one day after I got my my certificates and after I got my my classes and my diplomas, we, we begin to work in Norwich, Connecticut. And we went to a prayer meeting in the church, and I raised my hand and said, "Pray for us. We want a work." And maybe I didn't explain it, but we want to do something in Norwich, Connecticut. And then. You know, the, the preacher came out with a buckle shot and, and a machine gun and, and a bazooka. Say, oh, you, know, you didn't get our permission. You can't do nothing like that. And de churched us. You want my people. No, I don't. And you can ask my wife that's in glory in heaven that was never a take to take someone else's church member. I don't want them. I want my own work. I want my own people. Because there's a verse in the Bible, Galatians, that said, Be not deceived, what sort of man soweth, that he shall also reap. If I'm going to split a church, and then I get a church going, well, guess what's going to happen down the road? God's going to give me a major church split, worse than the church split I had caused. And I don't want that. That's always been my ground. That's always been if the Lord will give me a church, the Lord will give me a ministry. I don't want to split another church. I don't want to work someone else's field with my rules. I want to obey their rules. And we had one time at Daytona 500, and we meet these people, and we do get our little corners. And we had a guy one year <clears throat> come and join us. And he would turn to me and say, is that okay what I preach? Is that, yeah. 
This is not, you know. I will go where there's no gospel being preached. And if that includes where denominations that don't preach, well, I'm going to get the gospel out. If no one else is doing that field, no one else is doing that, that, that area, no, that's no one else's field, I'm going to work that field. I'm going to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the Lord has given me the field, the farmer's market. And the devil's in that field with the DJs, and I'm praying that the Lord will do something with that. But when it comes to other men's foundation with the gospel of Jesus Christ and the King James Bible, if you're not going to help that work, but rather destroy that work so you can be the top, get out of it. Get, don't, don't have anything to do with it. I've had people come up to me, well, you know, you you preach at the farmer's market so people can see you and you can make, I think there's only three people right now at the farmer's market, four, four people that know my name. I'm not there for Stiley Hayward. I'm there for the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And where the law says I can do and the law says I can't do, I fought that ground. I call it my church. I call it sometimes my church where, the, where, where my people love to have me walk out. That's kind of a joke. <clears throat> but I have been accused of trying to cause a church split. I have been accused of trying to cause a ruckus. And I haven't. Um. Uh, I have particular doctors, and I don't bring them into the church. Uh, into the church, as I'm at. But I have family Bible studies. I have the Hayward Family Bible Study on YouTube on the computer. We have a woman that has been with us for a while with Bible study, and we're working with her. We're, we're hoping to have other people come out, and we're hoping to build a work here. But. We're not trying to ruin any, anybody else's ground. And the Bible says we're not to. And the fact is, once you find out that a gospel is being preached there, and there's a foundation that Christ has given somebody else there, you got to pack up and go because that's not your ground. Now, if you want to be a fellow laborer, you want to be a help and be under the authority. I I have rules for the Hayward Family Ministry at the at the farmers market, and you're if you're going to come there and come under, you're going to be under those rules, or you're going to be a castaway from God. You're not going to have any part of us. And it would be foolish for you to say, well, I'm going to get my own little corner there. That's foolish. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go around the corner and I'm going to start my own work. That's foolish. And maybe because I heard these stories this week listening to messages, maybe that's, that's what's pricked my heart. That's stupid. That's very stupid. Because of Galatians 6, 7. If you're going to destroy another man's work, you wait to the you wait to, to the day that the reaping comes in and the work that you got going, because it would not be God that got it going if you broke someone else's ground, if you split someone else's church. That's not God, that's you. And you wait to the day God says, okay, day of reckoning. And I don't want, maybe this is a personal testimony, I don't want a day of reckoning. I don't want God to say, well, what you did to them, ooh, I'm, you wait to get what you're going to get. I don't want that. <clears throat> 
And I wouldn't appreciate if anybody came and did it to me. And I, as far as the work in the ministry, there will probably be people who will come. But as far as Stiley Hayward, and if I if I cross the line, let me know, because I don't want to do it. That's your work. I will work under your rules and your ways. And if I don't want to do it your way, and I don't want to do it by your rules, then I'm backing out. Because I'd be in rebellion. And if you hear this and you say, well, you know what? I want to help Stiley in his ministry. All right, you come and you obey my rules. I got rules. And I, I got regulations. And we, we will sit down and we'll talk them out. And if you're in green, hey, okay, I, I see no problem with that. If I do, well, I can obey to it. Then there you go. I had, I had a pastor sit, you know, well, you know, you, you post things about Christmas and Easter. and All right. Everybody who's, who's in that church is off my friends list at Facebook. All of them. Because I don't want to cause offense to your church. And Though I believe that Easter and Christmas is wrong, you believe it. Okay, I'm not going in there and causing a problem. I'm not going to cause a split. You want to be wrong, you be wrong, and you get lost. At the, uh, okay, but when I sit at my computer in my house, under the Constitution of the United States of America, and I pre preach and teach my beliefs, I'm not on an other man's foundation. I'm preaching the gospel. And if you don't like the preaching, you don't like the teaching, and it offends you, you can turn it off, you can unfriend, and go your way. But on the platform, of the Hayward family ministry, don't come and tell me, oh, I don't like what you post, I don't like what you, that's, don't read it. Unfriend. I've had, I had friends this week, I unfriended them. I did not like what they were posting and it got over and beyond, and I unfriended him. There's one guy, uh, he, he writes stuff I don't like, but he writes other good stuff I like, and, well, I bear with what I don't like, and I, I take what I like. There's another man, he posts great things, and then he's he's got another doctrine. Now, he's King James. Things he posts are correct and proper, except for that other doctrine. Well, I can bear with it. Do I contact him? No. That's his ground. That's his foundation. My foundation is a King James Bible-believing man. I believe that your thoughts are sins. I believe that Easter is sin. I believe that birthdays are sin. I believe that Christmas is sin. I believe when you honor, you know, it's sin. And if you want to know what I believe and what I teach, you go to the Hayward Family Ministry, you go to my, my YouTube, and you'll find over thousands of pre-recorded messages on what I believe and what I have believed 10 years. I'm reposting messages I did on the computer 10 years ago. And I found out it's the same stuff I believe today out of the Bible. Don't come changing me. Especially when you're wrong. So I strive to preach the gospel where Christ was not. I strive to preach the gospel not where Christ was named. At least I should build upon another man's foundation. Somebody else is there preaching the gospel. That's 
That's not your thing. You want to go help them? You're under their authority. Don't go splitting churches. Don't go splitting the work. Don't cause troubles and problems that need not to be. They've got enough troubles and problems from the devil in the world that they need a Christian to come along. And Now, the Lord laid this on me, Romans chapter 15, verse 20. I think it's been about a week, two weeks now. And I've been doing other messages, and this one's gone long. I'm sorry for going long. And I rant and I raved. <laughs> I had nothing planned. This is open up my mouth and uh, see what comes out. But I don't want to cause church splits. I don't want to cause problems. I don't want to have the Lord charge me with working someone else's foundation. I will help the foundation. I will help the work. I will. And if I don't want to obey the power, the, the powers that be. <clears throat> then I need to move on. If you don't want to obey the power, powers, you don't want to obey the, the rules, you don't, you want to be your own little person, you want to be your own little authority on that, then you don't need to get in, in the work with somebody else. You go start your own work. See, a lot of problem times it is, it takes a lot of work to build a ministry. And there are people out there who are lazy, who don't want to do the work. So what I'll do is I'll go to somebody else's work. I'll take somebody else's work and destroy a whole work. That's not right. 